Hi guys. I don't know what I do with my stick. <laughs> Here it is. Hi guys. Hi Libra. I hope you guys are doing okay out there. I did pull five cards for you. We're going to take a look and see what's going on in your individual energy. I don't know if this is going to be long, but if I need to get into it, I will. I got a little bit of time left, so you guys might luck out. Also, I was on the other reads, I was using like these really congested cards. They're too congested. I'll pull them if I need to, but I feel like they give way too much information. You get stuck in a place and it's like, really, what is this? So I will pull them if I need to, but I'm going to see what's going on with you guys' energy now. With these, I hope you guys are doing well. I love you guys. I do. I want to thank you guys also for your support, Libra. I love you guys. I do. We're going to see what we can find out. We're going to see what we can find out. So, let's see. Libra, give me your energy, please. Ooh, Libra. Hmm. Now, this came out sideways. I feel like you guys could be thinking. I ain't going to lie. When I see sideways, I see straight up, right? So, unless it flips, I know I'm really, um, I don't know. It's really weird. I'm just like that. Sorry. This is harmony. You guys are learning to find harmony in some situation. Some situation where you may have ended a cycle. For some of you guys, there's something about completing some situation, completing some task. If I had to take a look at it, it could equate to you guys having better luck in terms of harmonizing something. Something could have been out of control before. For some of you guys, because it came out sideways, I'm going to say that you realized something was off. And you tried to correct it or you're taking measures to correct it. So I don't know that you're fully there yet, but I feel like you guys are trying to find some kind of harmony or accept some situation. For some of you guys, this is a situation with renewal. You might be renewing something with someone. We also have here, you guys are acting out of maturity. Something happened in the past lives because it came out like that, right? So there's some harmony. Something that was done in a past life, you guys may have resolved the issue. For some of you guys, you broke some sort of a generational curse. For some of you guys here, you are now mature because of some situation that you decided you're like, I'm going to be an adult about this. I see the situation for what it is. I see um, all of them over there ain't going to really change and it's up to me to change. So I feel like you guys take control of your situation. You find some kind of harmony. I also feel like you guys are doing some reading. I feel like you guys are looking at get coffee. I feel like you guys are looking at something that goes on around you or something like that. Um, I feel like you guys are connecting the dots when it comes to family, when it comes to situations, friends, experiences. I feel like as you guys go through things, you're like, oh, okay. If I'm not mistaken, I think Aunt so-and-so went through this, or I think I saw my mother go through this, or I think I had a friend that went through something like that. So you guys start to accept something for what it is. Hold up. Coffee. Don't ask me what time it is, but it's coffee. And let me tell you, it's black coffee. Ain't even nothing in it. It's straight up black. <laughs> uh, I don't know. It's one of them old school coffee brands. So I felt like, let me double this. And still, it don't do nothing for me. <laughs> but I was reading an article where there was some politician. I was like, stop drinking the lattes. And I'm like, well, can't nobody afford the lattes anyway. So we all drinking Folgers. Hello. So in a sense, we don't have any choice. <laughs> anyway, Libra, what else is going on? Libra, what else is going on in your energy, please? All right. We also have something about existence. Some of you guys feel like you want to disappear from existence. For some of you guys, I'm noticing this existence card falls under the moon reverse. So we'll take a look at that and tie it in together. Give me one more, please, with existence coming out reversed existence some of you guys feel like you're invisible in a relationship or some of you guys just want to be low-key while you probe look at something there's also something about abundance some of you guys are staying quiet staying away some of y'all ain't even spending money you're like i'm watching my bread yup i'm gonna stay abundant because all of this mess going on over here all of whatever happened in the past life over here you won't be doing it in this life something like that so i think you guys learned something from your past life or there's some harmony from a past life where you're acting on maturity. I feel like there's some situation that you guys may have been going through and it feels familiar to you. Familiar. You're like, I never went through that, but for some reason I went through that. I feel like I went through that. So it's like this knowing that you guys have, this knowing, but you're maturing through the situation. We do have the Eight of Swords. I'm sorry, Eight of Wands. Libra that comes up for you. It says something here about you guys needing to hesitate before accepting some sort of an offer, right? So let's take a look and see what it means upright because I like to be clear when these things play out here. The eight of wands, there's something here about you guys having some sort of speed action when it comes to news. Some news is going to arrive for you guys. That's what it typically means. 
when it's reversed, it means that something's trying to slow down. Somebody's trying to slow something down from happening for you, Libra, with this Eight of Wands reversed here. This is about discernment. This is about you hesitating before accepting some sort of an offer, right? Or somebody's hesitating to give you an offer, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. They might be hesitating to give you an offer. Um, it also says here that there's something where you guys want to turn down certain offers, right? Or turn down a proposal of investment. Somebody came to you guys and said, listen, we should invest in this. Whether it be property, a house, some stock, whatever, a business. Somebody came to you and they're like, listen, we need to invest in this. And you guys are like, no, I'm going to fall back because I'm looking at my finances here. And I want to make sure that I am abundant when all this crap goes down. Because this crap going down right? We see crap going down. I think I said before in one of my videos, like a lipstick on a pig. It looks real pretty. It's laying on the board. But when you say this stuff out loud, it's not necessarily that great, right? So we have something where you guys are refusing or need to really look at something. I say refuse this offer because it can't hold the scrutiny. Somebody's going to ask you why you did it. Da -da -da. On top of that, somebody made you an offer, Libra, and whoever made you this offer, there's something where there's a communication issue, meaning whoever's responsible for making this project move, you can't even contact them. You can't contact them to make something move. You can't contact them to um, provide any real opportunities for you. So the cards are saying here that you might want to be very skeptical about trusting some offer that could be coming from somebody. Remember, typically it goes fast, but then they slow down. When somebody's slowing down or if you slow down, it tells me that somebody's having a second thought about something. Somebody's second guessing, having reservations, communication issues. Maybe I shouldn't do this because I can't contact the person who's responsible to make this project move. I feel like it's something like that. So you guys are really careful with your money or something like that, right? Now, we also have the Ten of Pentacles that comes out reversed here. This could be somebody in a family, right? Or it could be something else where you're helping contribute to a family in terms of finances or ideas or something that you do because wands are about creativity. So with the Ten of Pentacles, it talks about you guys having some sort of family conflict. This could be about finances, could be about money, but it talks about finances during a separation, anything Libra from separation to inheritance issues. Now, for some of you guys, somebody could have passed or I don't know when this happened because it doesn't necessarily show up here, but it does say that somebody could be disputing some sort of a will. Somebody did something with a will where it needs to be disputed or there's some long-term expectation that you guys may not be getting. For some of you guys, this is child support where somebody's not doing their part. Somebody's not doing something that they need to do, having to do with the separation or somebody tried to take hostage your inheritance or somebody's inheritance or something like that. But ultimately, you guys don't fulfill, be feel fulfilled in some situation. Now, the card goes on to say with the Ten of Pentacles reversed, you guys have somebody older in your family. Could be a Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo. This person has outdated beliefs, meaning, oh, I don't like this, or I don't agree with that, or I don't like this, or I don't like that. Like, they have no idea what's going on outside today. They're one of those people that... <laughs> The one of them people that are say, oh, the word of God don't change, right? But yet they'll be doing something where it ain't legal. Like you holding up wills because of some bigotry or some nonsense that you don't believe. You don't like the fact that that's his wife or that's the husband. So you decided I'm not going to give little, uh, I don't know, any name. I'm not going to give little Penny her money because I don't like who she married. Or I ain't going to give little Billy the money because I don't like that... That ain't none of their business. That's number one. But there's some sort of family conflict over separation or inheritance. Like if you guys are separated from somebody, you got some person in the family, some older person in the family who feels like, oh, you don't need no money to take care of them kids. You good. It's kind of, if you're a woman, oh, my baby, you know, they're always making excuses for their kings. My baby, this, let me be clear. Kings come in all, if you look at, if you look at, the marriage rate and the divorce rate in this country. Women file the most. Let me just say that. However, if you look at the men that some of these women are divorcing, you're going to see the mama behind them and she protects her king at all costs. So you're dealing with a lot of mamas out there that protect these kings. These kings are taking the money and putting it in the mama's name. You're probably dealing with somebody like that. This person. Whoever this mama is, right? This member of the family who's older with outdated beliefs. And it says that this person pisses off the younger people in the family. So you could be pissed off, Libra. 
Your spouse could be pissed off. Your siblings could be pissed off at this older person, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, who is money dependent. The reason why they're doing this is because they don't have any money. They're dependent on somebody's money here. It says that this person is facing foreclosure. This person is causing family conflicts, but it also talks about loneliness. So this person could be lonely, which is why they're smothering, right? Or you could be lonely because of the influence of this person, right? And the impact that they could be having on a relationship or a family dynamic or something like that. We also have the Queen of Cups reversed. This could be an extension of this family member or this could be your energy. But I feel like on top of all the things that you guys have going on, right? So on top of somebody having to turn down something having to do with business because it doesn't seem right, taking care of your family, on top of somebody changing a name on the will or something like that, or on top of you being separated or divorced or you guys broke up and you need money for the kids. So on top of the job or the project going crazy on top of the older family member saying, Oh, I don't like who you, I don't like them. So they ain't getting no money. What? And this could be your own mama. I, I'm not going to give. I feel like I that money belongs. How, how is that money belong to you? Who the heck do you think you are? So you got some old folks out here that are, have outdated beliefs. I said some, I ain't say all. You got some older folks in the family dynamic who's causing all types of hell and chaos, right? You can't even keep a decent relationship because this person is jealous, smothering, money dependent on their son or the daughter or whatever they got going on, right? Whoever this is. So they're causing all types of havoc in the family, right? This is leading to some kind of jealousy. This might actually lead you or your partner or it could even be this this really shady older family member. Somebody's in the Queen of Cups reverse energy, right? This does suggest that there's some sort of jealousy, but it also suggests that there's infidelity. If that is the case, it could be why you have the Ten of Pentacles reverse. It talks about a separation, meaning you're no longer with your person. You got to get that child support. You have to get that help. Somebody needs to share domestic responsibilities, right? It could be that, or the Queen of Cups could be this person that walks in, this person who is jealous of you, Libra, jealous. Listen, it could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, who's jealous of you, Libra. It could be a Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo who's jealous of you, can't stand you, like, oh my goodness, right? It could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, but really? It could be a Cancer moon, or it could be a Pisces moon who got a problem with you, right? They're causing this crap in your relationship or your situation. They're jealous. This person's attention-seeking. They are needy. I don't feel like this is your energy because you was out trying to get bread. You were trying to make stuff happen, all right? But somebody decided they were going to go in, place an obstacle, so you couldn't get your business done, right? So we got this hoe that shows up. Yes, I said hoe because that's what that is. She a hoe or he. He could be a hoe too. Listen, Scott LaRock was a super hoe according to the song. So <laughs> it could be a man or a woman. It's a Queen of Cups reverse. Somebody who's not loving, right? Um, this is somebody who you may actually be avoiding. So it says that you're avoiding the, the company of this Queen of Cups. This could be somebody's friend. Or this could be some side piece who decided she was going to show her face at your door. I wish you would. You come up to my door. You better have your Vaseline on. You can say whatever you want from the sidewalk or the street. But the minute you pull up, listen, I'm trying to tell you. Like, people need to understand what boundaries are. And I feel like this Queen of Cups does not. Whoever this person is, right? I know, right? Anyway, this person is needy. She drains you of energy, right? You... Libra may be avoiding her company. She may be under some sort of emotional control or have some emotional issues or financial pressure. So emotional pressure and financial pressure, right? It says here that this shows that someone is being unfaithful. So listen, let's be realistic about it, right? For some of you guys here, this situation could have driven you so crazy, whoever this is, whatever this is, that you're like, I'm going out to have an affair, but I don't feel like this is you. I don't, I feel like it's somebody else here. I feel like there's somebody trying to interrupt your relationship. This Queen of Cups, this Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, this woman or man, whoever this is, shows that someone is being unfaithful. So this could be whoever you're partnered up with that could be unfaithful here, right? It also says here that this person is smothering. So they ain't even a quiet side piece. They one of them loud ones that want to get on it. And I don't, let me tell you, 
I was with da 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 da. Now, whoever ain't claiming this person, right? They just there as a nuisance. They're there to piss you off and get on your nerves. They just show who they really are, which is a hoe. They're smothering, right? They're insecure. They have addictions, and that's why they're dependent on money. This Queen of Cups reverse could even be this older person in the family. It really could. It could be the person in the family. The cards say here with this person, right, that this person is doing this because they're really flashy and they're flashy because they're broke with the Queen of Cups reversed. It also says that they don't have any confidence. So they're flashy to hide the fact that they're broke or to mask the fact that they broke, right? It says that whoever's dealing with this person, this could be you, Libra. The price may be too high for you to deal with this person. You can't answer for why you're dealing with this person. This person's dishonest, nasty. And I feel like for some of you guys, you may have recently set up. So if this Queen of Cups reverses somebody coming at you after you've had some sort of family dispute, I would stay away from this person. This person is not good. This person has motives. They're deceptive, right? And they're unfaithful. So somebody's unfaithful. Whoever you guys are running into this new, this Queen of Cups reverse is unfaithful. You guys have the moon card reversed here. It talks about somebody having a failure or nerve in some situation. You guys don't trust your feelings. For some of you guys, this is some kind of, this is a Cancer or a Pisces. For some of you guys, I'll pull a couple of those to see, right? But for some of you guys, you don't necessarily trust this person. There's something where a failure of nerve. Some of you guys decide I'm not moving forward with somebody. For some of you guys here, it shows that you or whoever this person is could be overly dependent on a mentor. I don't know who this person is. I'm going to see if I can piece that together, right? It also says here that not only are they looking to other people for answers, and there's also over-dependence on some sort of a figure here where they need to check the motives or you need to check the motives because this person is being deceptive. I feel like this is about a person. The truth is revealed about somebody because you, Libra, you get messages in your dreams. I feel like for some of you guys here, you're very aware, very intuitive. You're probably an empath. You probably feel everything, but I feel like you guys are also able to block stuff off. Like, yeah, I know you said that. I know you did that, but I'm going to sit back and wait. I'm going to sit back and wait. Like, so I feel like you guys sit back and observe something, right? And whatever this is, you're, you're careful before you make an offer or somebody something with an offer that you can't. When you followed up with an offer, it came across as being unsustainable one because there's something questionable about this project but two the people in charge aren't responsive so that speaks to irresponsibility one somebody disputing a will older person in a family queen of cups could be the queen of cups reversed who's the nasty person holding up the money i doubt it i feel like the over dependence when it comes to finances is going to be this older person in the family this queen of cups is probably somebody that's in your energy or you guys ran into I would reject and turn this person down, whoever this is, because they're, they have addictions. They're out for money. You know, the system sucking, uh, sucking, whatever, you know, what I, mean. I would review their motives clearly because they're there for some hidden reason. The moon card comes out reversed here. All right. So with that messages in your dreams, truth comes out. The truth is going to come out about a cancer or a Scorpio, something that they did. Or some, something that you guys don't know about, right? But we also have the two of wands. This is inequality. I feel like this could be your person. Some of you guys could be dealing with an Aries Leo Sag, Capricorn Taurus Virgo, Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Heavy on Cancer or Pisces, but also Aries Leo Sagittarius again. Two of wands comes out reverse here. Inequality or imbalance in a partnership. So this really does talk about a partnership. I don't necessarily see emotions here. One person has more input in this partnership than the other does. You can see it here because you have one looking for details, information on this partnership, but they cannot reach anybody to get the information. It takes us to two of wands reversed here. Financial inequality is causing arguments in this relationship that goes back to the Ten of Pentacles reversed here because we see that there are some problems from separation to inheritance issues. I feel like for some of you guys, this is about somebody that cheated on you or you cheated on them. Somebody has to pay some money out. The two of wands here, imbalance in a partnership. Somebody has more influence than the other. Got that. Financial inequality, starting fights. Got that. Separation. We also have here, there's somebody who is going to issue something with a disagreement. There's something with a disagreement. Money is causing disagreements with you guys. 
There's also something about the domestic workload. Like I told you, somebody's not sharing a domestic workload, which is why something fell apart here. Which is why somebody ends up having to do something more for money or which is why there's a money dispute. Let's put it that way. There's something with domestic workload that leads to a separation, which is why you guys requested money. I'm thinking for child support or somebody tried to steal money off your will or use a question in somebody older in a family who's shady, something like that, right? But there's something where you guys make some sort of an agreement, right? I will say this though. The bottom line is in this relationship that you guys are in, somebody feels taken advantage of, all right? I feel like one is the voice behind the deal and the other one, I have the phone number to call if I need to, right? They're like, yeah, here's a number to call. And then when you call, you get some F stuff, something like that. The cards do say here with the two of wands reverse here, it talks about plans failing. It talks about travel issues. Somebody can't move the way they want to move. But one person feels taken advantage of or taken for granted in a relationship. And this is where I think you guys actually find some kind of harmony with something. Because you know things have happened in the past with this person which matures you. In terms of this existence, some of you guys could have shut down or shut out of your energy a uh, Pisces or a Cancer. I feel like for some of you guys, you were waiting for results to, to be a lot faster when it comes to something in Aries, Leo, or Sag. I feel like this is something with results coming faster. But ultimately, once you guys block somebody out, there's something with abundance. I feel like once you guys get out the situation, there's some sort of abundance that you get. Abundance is not just finances. It's not just finances. It's like an equal balance of happiness. Equal this, equal that. Like family, happiness, money, home, whatever. Um, wow, da, 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 da. Queen of Cups reversed here. Why is the Queen of Cups reversed here? And why do we have the Moon reversed? Why is the Queen of Cups reversed here? We know that this person is, you know, dependent, addiction, hoeing around, flashing money that they don't have. That's the Queen of Cups. They're very flashy. And they do it because they're insecure. They don't have no money. But they act like they do untrustworthy it says that you shouldn't trust this person here again this is a Sagittarius energy that it's talking about right it says here eloquent look because I want you guys to Sagittarius energy eight of wands again now we got the eight of wands that came out reverse here and it came out reverse again somebody's slow to do something somebody could be stealing something from you somebody's causing you strife and uh, disputes and it's also something with jealousy here this person is jealous and they're frustrated over a situation you might have more money than this person Somebody could be hanging out with you for the money or this person did something with some money. They may have taken some finances from you. This could be the older person that's Aries Leo Sag. Somebody who did something with a will or they're giving you hell about having some funds after a separation. Somebody might owe child support. Somebody might owe spousal support. Somebody might have agreed to take care of the bills after a long-term relationship is over. Maybe it was sporadic. Maybe it was sudden. But somebody's taking their sweet time doing something. It says specifically it's a Sagittarius that could be taking their time doing something. They ain't moving too fast. That looks terrible. That's so annoying. Oh, my goodness. Like, I know, right? Sorry, guys. So what else is going on? Tell me why the Ten of Pentacles is reversed and the Queen of Cups because we're, and we wound up with the same card. These cards are repeating here. Yep, look at this. Two of Wands reversed again, right? So unrealistic. Somebody had some unrealistic expectations. Maybe you, Libra, or an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, wanted something to happen faster than it did. Something about waiting for fast results. Somebody didn't get results as fast as they wanted to. It keeps saying the same thing. It could have been this Queen of Cups reversed here. They didn't get the results they wanted, but these cards are repeating. Somebody didn't get this Ten of Pentacles as fast as they wanted. It's due to somebody in y'all's family. Or somebody in somebody in the family could be an Aries who's responsible for this. We know Sagittarius is with the me, uh, the message coming through. They have a dispute with you. They're jealous. They're creating delays for you, getting in the way of you moving on, living right, right, taking care of your kids in some cases because they want to hold on to the money. Or it's a Sagittarius, his family who's responsible for this nonsense. The older family member could be an Aries, or that could be your family. Again, somebody being decisive. Somebody made a bad choice when it came to something having to do with a cancer or a Pisces. It was a bad decision made and a need for balancing in a relationship, which we see here, right? What is that? Yep, with the existence. Mm. 
existence reverse. You don't exist. You might be blocking this person out of your energy. You expected something to happen faster. They did and they never produced. So you said, hell with you. Give me more. Uh, Libra feels like you're walking away from nonsense with the Ace of Wands. Listen, I'm walking off into the sunset with the Ace of Wands here, right? A will to create. Some of you guys are walking off into the sunset and finding somebody new with your abundance, right? Hmm. Somebody could be using some kind of force for something, a new project. For some of you guys, you may be taking your experience and what you went through and creating some sort of a project. But for some of you guys also, there's something with inspiration force. You, I don't know. Give me more clarified Ace of Wands. That's a new idea. Something with a new idea, a new beginning. You guys are pioneering something new that creates some sort of abundance. It looks like your project moves, but again, these obstacles. Somebody keeps putting obstacles in your way. There's like heavy fire energy that got a problem with you or something like that, right? You got this Aries Leo Sagittarius. You got Libra in here. But again, it's like what's causing you obstacles is fire. But fire signs, I guess, are stubborn in a way. I don't want to say stubborn. They just... Maybe all hell if they don't... You know. <laughs> what it seems like. All hell. Finding control, willpower. Somebody's trying to have some willpower, but this person doesn't. You guys might be dealing with a Leo who's imbalanced in the head. Somebody dealing, somebody who's ignorant. Libra, you guys might have a Leo threatening you. All right, they might be saying all types of evil stuff to you over some money. Because again, this is what, the Nine of Pentacles? Yep, again, some of you guys are dealing with a Virgo. But there's something here with finances, accomplishment. Somebody's pissed because they want this inheritance. There's an inheritance that comes up, a reward, which is an inheritance. I believe that's supposed to be yours or something like that. But you have this energy here who keeps getting in the way. It's a Leo who's stopping your money. It's a Sagittarius stopping your money. Who else shows up here? Pisces and Cancer stopping your money. Somebody's doing something. Or it could be a Virgo. It could be a Gemini who's frustrated in the situation. They were tasked to do something also. They, they failed over commitment. They failed something with the World Wide Web. Something was supposed to be done online. Again, failure. Whatever these people tried to do to you, Libra, they failed. And you clipped these people out and you said, you out of my existence. I ain't checking for you. And they mad. Failure, imperfect, lack of fulfillment. They got nothing out of this. It was a community of people with this world card that came up to you. Community, optimism. They were. They thought they could get this done, right? They were having joy and growth. They thought they was going to get some bread out of you by keeping your inheritance. But it says here that you get your inheritance back. But you get it back with a fight. It looks like you got to fight or argue about it or something. I put up all hell. They putting something on the World Wide Web. Something's on a web about you. These people are grieving because of a lost opportunity. Mm -hmm. It sounds like if they had some success, right? If they had some success and the world comes out reversed for these people, then their worlds are turned upside down because their plan failed. All right. You guys might have a Leo choking on themselves, a Scorpio throwing up on themselves. Who else? An Aquarius and a Taurus. They all throwing up on themselves because this failed, right? They fighting, fighting and carrying on arguments. They having conflicts with each other, fighting specifically with a Leo. There's a Leo and a Gemini in here who's arguing with people. There's a Cancer or Pisces fighting with folks. This whole group is fighting. They're fighting over inheritance because they didn't get it. If it's not yours, what makes you think you could get it? Like, what's wrong with these people? You got some real crazy. Also, you got somebody out here who mm, you guys might have found somebody new, possibly, or you're trying to make a decision if you want to be with somebody new, or you might be making a decision about an Aries Leo Sagittarius. I feel like you got a couple. Y'all might um, attract fire signs, I think. You have this Libra energy, which is you trying to make some sort of a decision, right? For some of you guys, I may, you might feel like you made a bad choice and you don't want to make another one with this Aries Leo Sag, this fire energy, Ace of Wands. For some of you guys, you feel like a Pisces failed. <laughs> to some of you guys, do you feel like a Pisces failed? They said they were going to be able to do something, grow something, produce something, and they did not. That could be uh, the person in this project, which is why this project is failing. Pisces comes up a couple of times. But there's a Pisces that failed you guys. They weren't able to create something. They failed. Also, this person could be in a justice system. For some of you guys, there's a Pisces here who is treasonous. They are waiting for... 
they're waiting for um, somebody to make a decision. So this person can't move until somebody makes a decision. They could be waiting for a sentencing, a judge, something about treason coming up. Mm. Why is the lovers reversed here? It could be a Pisces and a Gemini. They got together. There's some kind of loss and regret and grief over something they lost. This is about a plan. They're mourning the fact that they weren't able to pull the okie doke on you and you remain abundant. They're mad. Chariot, right? So we got cancer that shows up again. This cancer might be coming towards you. There's a Scorpio who's in grief. There's a cancer here who's determined to triumph over something. They're doing an investigation on some celebration had. These stories are starting to repeat. There was some false celebration had. Mm. And now somebody's up all night, right? There's this Gemini who was at a false celebration. Whatever whatever celebration you guys had or something like that, there's an investigation going on, right? They're investigating in Aries. They're investigating. This whole group is being investigated. A chariot card specifically. Investigation, willpower, and finding some sort of control. Somebody got some story wrong. Somebody's trying to get the whole story because there's too much fighting going on. You guys have a Leo here who's lying, not telling the truth. They're withholding or concealing information. And somebody, again, had to go out and do an investigation on some celebration that was had. It was a celebration amongst the community. Whoever this investigator is, is keeping somebody up all night. There's a Gemini here who doesn't want something to come out. There's a Libra here that expected something to happen fast. I feel like there's people in trouble. These people are going to start talking. Anyway, that's all I have for you guys. I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. Like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe. Please. I love you, Libra. Bye.